Uh, I think it has been said, but um, uh, the waves that were, have been described actually, um, uh, they took two years from, uh, I think, from February 1918 to April 2020, two years. So it took two years to, to stop, um, to end. And uh, in our situation now with more technology and, uh, of course, with more connectedness, the virus has better chance of spreading. It can f move fast because we are more connected now. But at the same time, we have also the technology to, to stop it and the knowledge to stop it. Uh, so we have a disadvantage of globalization, closeness, connectedness, uh, but an advantage of better technology. So we hope uh, to finish uh, this pandemic before uh, uh, less than two years, uh, especially if we can pull our efforts together and with national unity, global solidarity, that's really key with utilizing the available tools to the maximum and hoping that we can have additional tools like vaccine. I think we can uh, finish it shorter, shorter, in a shorter time than the uh, 1918 uh, flu. Again, and uh, I hope others, others will supplement. That's a good, quite a question. Um, so the 1918 pandemic um, was, it was a novel strain of influenza, um, and it circulated uh, over a number of years. And in fact, once the pandemic, there were several waves of that pandemic um, impacting uh, the globe. Um, and that virus itself, once the pandemic, once the, the really intense transmission was over after those waves, that virus circulated for many years, for decades, um, until another strain replaced it, circulating globally. So I think um, there are similarities. I mean, these are respiratory pathogens. Um, there are numbers of interventions that are put in place uh, for the 1918 pandemic, many of which are being implemented now uh, during the, the SARS-CoV-2 uh, pandemic. Um, and I think one of the things that you reminded me of in your first part of your question about your driver's license and the impact that this has had, pandemics have incredible impacts. They are pandemics. You know, they are affecting every aspect of our lives right now. And so what we are trying to do in, in our control program around SARS-CoV-2 is, is about how do we save lives but not only focusing on health aspects, but how do we save livelihoods and how can we help save economies and bring economies back up? Um, and right now, um, in the current, we're still very early on in this pandemic. And I know many people are tired and many people uh, have fatigue as it relates to this. We do, we do as well, but we have quite a long way to go. So we need to remain focused. We need to remain ready. Uh, and we need to apply pressure to the virus. We need to apply pressure to uh, try to prevent as many infections as we can and save as many lives as we can, not only from COVID-19, but from all of the other diseases that are circulating that plague um, many populations to make sure that essential medical services continue and other services continue so that people can go on and live their lives.